The pubs are British, the street signs look familiar, and you can still find an old-fashioned red phone box. This tiny territory on the tip of Spain has been under British rule since 1704. Long contested by the Spaniards, but it's fair to say war hasn't been on the agenda. Now just five days after triggering Article 50, Theresa May, on a trip to Jordan, has been forced to address the matter. Speaking to journalists on the plane, she insisted she wants to talk to countries in the EU, Spain included. It's George Orr, she said, not war war. The storm's brewing after EU draft guidelines suggested Brussels would give Spain a veto over whether any deal with Britain also applied to Gibraltar. A former Tory leader claimed the Prime Minister would be willing to fight for the territory. The Spanish Foreign Minister said Britain had lost its cool. In this issue, he said, Britain's traditional calmness is conspicuous by its absence. This was 1967. In a referendum, 99% of Gibraltarians voted for British sovereignty over Spanish. Their chief minister fears now the people will be a pawn in Brexit negotiations. Well, in Brussels, Boris very, Johnson very insisted that, uh, not. The sovereignty of Gibraltar is unchanged and it's not going to change and cannot conceivably change without the express support and consent of the people of Gibraltar and the United Kingdom and that is not going to change. Thanks a lot. Thank you. The people here will see Brexit in action. This internal EU border will become an external one. 96% of voters wanted to stay in the EU. Now their futures are being negotiated by politicians over a thousand miles away. Tessa Chapman, Five News.